Hello YouTube. So this is an issue core. Um, today we're going to continue our lessons. In the previous lesson we have done um, a, an LED blinking on the XMC uh, 1400 from microchip. This is the boot kit. In the previous lesson we have uh, blinked an LED uh, in the main loop. We have, we have put some delays by using four loops in order so the human eye can see the actual blinking because the microcontroller is running super fast. So today we're going to use uh, one of the timers from uh, a capture compare unit number four. We have two capture compare units, a four and eight. So basically the, we're going to focus on the capture compare unit number four. The capture compare unit number four consists of four identical timers uh, running on 16 bits. We can take one slice and use it for a PWM and, and the same capture compare unit we can take another slice to use it for um, a timer to blink, an LED for example. Uh, today we're just gonna make use one of these slices to to, uh, to use it as a timer to give it as to give us an interrupt every time the timer reaches its uh, event or its period after we have set the value on when we want the timer to expire and we will blink the LED by going to that um, uh, to that interrupt service routine and just uh, toggle the position of the LED. So let's start. Uh, the first few steps are gonna be exactly as the last time we have done by configuring the LED pinout. So first of all, let's open a project, Dave project, Dave CE. We're gonna call this project LED blinking uh, by timer. Okay, we're gonna pick our board. This is gonna be the XMC 1400 um, boot kit, great. So far so good, we're gonna build our project, make sure that everything is running okay. Great, and we're gonna flash it blank just to make sure that we have a connection with our debugger and the J-Link is working uh, perfect. Um, okay, remember my decision, open the perspective, and we have run it. Okay, so basically here we have an empty project, the, the board does, doesn't do anything, we have flashed, we have a good connection with the computer, so far so good okay so we want to blink an LED so first of all let's uh, create and use wait add the LED and configure the IO so we want an IO add and we want a timer so let's type in timers um, here we're gonna use timer and we need an interrupt to uh, take the timers event and use it as an interrupt service routine. So we need an interrupt. Here we can use an interrupt. Okay, so far so good. And we are gonna configure our uh, applications by far. So let's call the LED, give it a name. We're gonna call it LED zero. And here we're gonna call that interrupt, which I'm gonna change its name so it'll be easier for us to remember. So it's gonna be um, timer zero int, which is interrupt. Good, and here we have timer zero. Okay, so let's start configuring everything. So basically, we want to tell that this um, IO that we have configured, we want it to connect the, uh, the, 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 connect the hardware to the software, which is uh, by using the pin allocator. So as in the previous lesson, the LEDs are connected to port four, pin zero. These are the onboard LEDs via a pull-up resistor. We're gonna save that. And we're gonna configure that um, pin to be as an output. So we're gonna change that to an output. Great. Now we're gonna configure our uh, interrupt. So we want the interrupt to have um, a handler, which is where with the, 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 the microcontroller We'll jump to that interrupt service routine. We're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna we're gonna call it timer zero um, um, event. Okay. I S R interrupt service routine. Timer zero event or interval. Let's call it interval. Interval. Okay. Great. So far, so good. Enable interrupt at the initialization. Initialization. So instead of just going and telling the timers and start, we're gonna let Dave do that for us. 
Now we're going to configure the timer. So here we have the timer using um, CCU4. I will explain the difference between 4 and 8 as we go along with the lessons. Um, so, okay, now I want the LED to blink every half a second, which is 500 uh, milliseconds. So basically that is 500 milliseconds. And we want to convert from microseconds to milli, which is um, multiplying it by a thousand. So one, two, three. And we're also going to let the Dave application to uh, initialize our timer for us instead of uh, going and doing it uh, alone, which is good. And we want to enable the timer interval event. Okay, we're going to enable it. It's going to say that, okay, you have an event, but you did not connect the event with the interrupt. So we're going to do that by going to the uh, hardware signal connection. We're going to tell it the source is from the event timer interval, timer zero, here. We want the tiger to go to the timer zero interrupt that we configured, which is that interrupt. And the tiger uh, signal is going to be SRIRQ. Uh, Great. Close. Okay, so uh, now this is the function that the that the code that the that the microcontroller is, is, is going to jump to whenever the timer uh, expires, and will uh, fire up an interrupt. So we're going to go to our main. We're going to define that function, which is going to be a void. The function name that we called, and it's going to take void. And we are. Uh, this is our function. So here is actually the. Um, uh, this is the service. Oh, let's see. Good. And um, uh, we will jump here uh, when ever the timer zero uh, uh, ends its interval. Great. So uh, we're going to jump here every half a second. We're going to come to that function. And what we're going to do in that function, basically, is we're going to blink the LED. So in order to blink the LED, we're going to use it by using a toggle uh, function, which is, okay, we did not generate anything. Sorry, we're going to uh, tell the code to generate our everything we've set up here. We've generated it. So we're going to tell it, um, go to the digital IO, give me the function's name, which is going to be a toggle, digital IO toggle, set output, digital IO set output low, digital IO toggle output, that's what we want. Again, it takes nothing, but it takes a const a variable from, a con from type digital IO, which is also a pointer. So here we're going to tell it, um, uh, that function and we're going to give it an ampersand LED zero So far so good We're going to save We're going to rebuild our project make sure that everything's okay. We're we'll not not forget anything Okay, that's great um, Now we're going to debug So here's our project Here's our uh, boot kit I'm going I'm going to hit a uh, flash we're flashing the code and we're gonna hit run three two one and there you have it here we have a blinking led each half a second you can uh, um, check that it's actually running like uh, in, in every second it should, it should blink like one two three four five six yeah it's growing good half every half a second um, we can also check that it's actually running by connecting a scope to that pin and check that if it's actually doing half, half a second. Um, in the next videos, we're probably going to use a scope to start uh, uh, start seeing an actual signal coming out from the microcontroller. For now, it's uh, pretty straightforward. We do not need a scope just to see that it's actually flashing at half a second, a half a second rate, a 500 millisecond rate. Um, okay, so that's basically it. Um, okay, so, okay, this is it. Uh, this is it for today. This is what we, this is lesson number uh, one, part number two, uh, blinking LED using a timer. As you have seen, it's pretty straight, straightforward. It's not very uh, hard. It's not very difficult to use the timer. 
but uh, in the next video we're gonna probably start using pwms we're gonna use an pwm output and we're gonna use um probably it's either gonna be a pwm output or it's gonna be reading an analog to digital converter and just start changing the timing of the led blinking so we can also control the time we want to blink the led not via the software but via the onboard potentiometer so that's gonna be a very fun video, um, very educating because we're gonna use an analog to digital. We're gonna time the reading whenever we want to read the, the actual analog to digital. But we'll get into that in the next uh, video. So thank you for uh, staying with me into in this at this stage of the video. I hope it it, it was useful and helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, please uh, type in the comments any question if you need or you have, and I will make sure that I will answer it as fast as I can. Um, thank you very much and uh, signing up Anis. Bye bye.